Uh, I'll try and keep it to 20 minutes. Um, I can talk for uh, ages about this. Um, okay, so I'm uh, an architect interested in, um, I'm kind of a half geek, half architect, uh, interested in lots of different areas. So I would have been, I suppose, entrepreneuring since leaving college. Uh, and I pretty much went straight into product design which, uh, if there are any architects here, uh, I, uh, there's, there's one colleague there from college. Um, product design is where architecture is going, um, and the same with construction, it's all tending towards manufacture. Um, okay, so what's happening is there's um, um, a re uh, adjustment of many different areas of um, study and um, really the, the, the three-dimensional model is um, a, a, a center focus really for lots of different industries from uh, design industries, um, manufacturing, and um, you know, an industry that, you, that would traditionally have been very, very focused on, like architecture or, or product design or um, game design, um, um, you know, movie making, you name it. Um, the, a lot of industries are kind of, the, the, the borders are being broken down. Um, and really uh, one of the very uh, common uh, central areas of, of work is uh, the three-dimensional virtual model. Um, as an architect, uh, I virtually construct uh, my buildings before they go on site. Um, so there's two, the, the building gets built twice, one in the virtual space and the next time it happens. And all the screw ups happen on the computer, um, well, most of them, um, before it goes on site. So when, when the construction process goes on site, you, you know what's gonna happen. Traditionally, it's, um, people aren't told this, but it's an awful messy business. Um, um, so, Okay, so the, the Cork City digital model, um, this is corkcity.com, easy enough to remember. That um, web address has been kept dormant for, I don't know, actually how long, um, maybe it's, I don't know, 10 years plus. <coughs> um, and it's, the web address has belonged to um, the owner of the web workhouse, uh, Dave Halpin, and um, he was interested in this uh, idea of modeling the city. So we kind of um, joined forces and um, so we have, we have this website, corkcity.com. Um, and it is, in, in, it is kind of coming out of incubation and we're just kind of slowly giving birth to it. I say we, okay, it's mostly me, but um, I have had help from uh, lots of uh, different people. Um, a lot of people who, uh, who have never modeled before uh, helped out on creating the map of Cork City. Um, people who just literally never, weren't even necessarily, um, well, you know, good with a mouse and, you know, knowing how to use windows and stuff like that. But um, really, I haven't had any much interest from the traditional um, players like architects, engineers, planners, um, you name it. What I've found is the professional mindset is actually anathema to um, progress. So I've, I've backed away from the traditional areas. I don't really engage with architects much. Uh, I, I engage with a few engineers, um, but really this, this whole area of work is outside of the traditional mindset. Um, and it's much more exciting than we've been led to believe things are. So um, what, what this website is about, I'm going to go through uh, a couple of different things um, ab about the model. Um, I'll show you the, the model kind of in raw, the, the, the raw file, and I'll also show you what we're, we're talking about in terms of um, outputs from the model. Um, so Okay, so w one of the things I have on the, on the website here is maps. So if I click into maps, 
um, and we have one map here so far. It's the, um, the, the tourist map. Okay, so if I go in here and I download the tourist map, um, and I'm very interested in your opinion. Um, the thing about mapping is um, it's, it, it relates to everyone. I mean, everybody understands what a map is. Everyone has use for a map. So it's, it's, it's a great area to be a product designer. Um, the, the market is kind of um, not, is, is, uh, very, very large. Um, so what the, the idea behind this map is um, really the, the, the tourist um, and what the tourist wants to see. Um, or what, what I imagine the, the, the tourist wants to see. Um, and the thing about digital um, maps is they're, they're, they're multi-layered things. So we can put um, as many different versions of this map as we like on the website. And the map can relate to anything, can relate to like, you know, where are the tech places to go? Um, you know, where, where are web developers? Where, you know, where do you buy shoes? Where do you go? You know, where are the chemists? Where are the shops? You know, um, where are the specialist shops for whatever? Um, best place to eat, drink, sleep, um, you name it. Um, they're, they're the things that we, we, we want to get from maps. You know, we want to get from the maps and the web. But what really what we're purporting to do here is to um, improve on your ability to get to the information and, and in a more pleasant way. And pleasant is important. We, we don't place enough emphasis on pleasant. Um, the reason it's pleasant is because your brain likes it. And the reason your brain likes it is because it's in a language that your brain is naturally tuned to more than uh, text or, um, or verbalization. Um, the first thing, the first language we learn is space and color and, um, and, and kinetics movement. So um, it, it, it's, it's a more uh, natural brain language and that's why we like it. Um, so we just go back home here, and I'll play um, the video, which is hey, it's gone over two thousand. Um, turn up the very loud. Diving down into the web workhouse. Okay, <clears throat> so we're just, um, you know, the idea might be a little bit um, over ambitious, but we're just hoping to uh, do business with every single um, <coughs> business owner in Cork City Centre um, and sign them up for um, a renewable subscription to advertising. Um, and the way we're going to do that is, um, <coughs> I go to this file here. And open up story map. Oh, okay. Two, two. No, I need to plug in my uh, my key here. Um. So what what we want to do is create 
essentially um, a Wikipedia of, um, of, of maps. Um, and, um, and, and information on, on those maps. Um, so if, you, if you're looking for chemists in Cork City, um, there is a map that has the chemists. Um, if you're looking for whatever, you're looking for all the Chinese restaurants, there's a map with all the Chinese restaurants. Um, and so on, and um, but also um, the idea is to get your um, people's interests. Okay, so this this is a kind of a mapping project, um, and I was hoping to print thirty of these and give them out, um, but. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, I didn't manage it this evening because I was actually th this. This has actually taken quite a bit of time to figure out how to present this. But essentially, what we're going to be doing is giving out um, this blank map to um, anyone and everyone um, to put their their thoughts and ideas on the map. Um, in relation to, you know, your favourite places, your thoughts, your um, your ideas about things, what should happen in the city, what you like about the city, what you don't like about the city, um, and um, so the so the first page of this is, oh yeah, the first page of this is um, a kind of an explanation of 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 what this is about. So. What happens is you, you get the map. Now, you, you might just, if you're a tourist and you, you, you get a copy of the map, it's just like, well, you know, um, somebody can use it for directions. Here you are and here's where you want to go. So you go, you know, you go around the corner here and here's that place and you can kind of make out what it looks like. Um, and um, so, so you might use it just for, for, for that purpose. Um, what I want to do is familiarize people with this image of the city um, and, and for people to kind of go, okay, I want to know where something is. Where's that place? I, where, you know, there's a meeting on there. There's a meeting here. Um, where is it? And immediately that people would think of CorkCity.com. There's a map there for that, that I might just download print it off and just scribble on it, or it might be there already on the database. What we want people to do is take photos of their maps and then email them to us. And we'll, put, we'll either put the maps directly onto the database and tag them with what, what, whatever the relevant tags are, um, or we'll collate the information. Like you might, you might just have a couple of notes on it. Um, maybe it's not worth kind of making that a complete map for, for download, but we might just kind of say, right, take that information and put it on another, put it on a map that, you know, that we'd have of, of information like that and put that together and put that map up on the, on the web, um, on, on the site. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to know what um, people think about think about this idea. Uh, d does it make sense, first of all? Like, or does anybody kind of not, not get, yeah? I have a suggestion for you. Sure. Paul, um, do you remember the time when the dam bust and Cork unfortunately flooded the great? Yeah. It was dreadful for people who lived here. I don't live in the city, I live west. But the next morning, a guy I know, a friend of mine, he came in and photographed once the waters have subsided, mm. he photographed all the top level mm. of the waters and referenced those points yeah. by GPS. So my idea was, the moment I saw this, if you got that datum mm. and dropped it down into your map, yeah. this, and it could form the dynamic of the force of water and where it's like, liable to go, if there's that functionality, if it could predict... Yeah, you're talking about a dynamic model, um, kind of like using... Are you, are you talking about something that's... Um, what I'm saying is, 
and if engineering. You could, if you could demonstrate, and that's how we learn things by kinetic and by looking at colours. And sure, shapes. yeah, yeah. You could sell that then to the city engineers. The yes, yeah. yes. Um, uh, people have asked me, um, uh, so, you, uh, you know, are you talking to the city council about this? Um, and my answer is uh, no, um, we're not talking to city council. Um, and really, you know, I've really, the, the, the longer I've been an entrepreneur, the more I've found that um, really government isn't interested in um, indigenous industry. They're more interested in the Microsofts and the Apples and, the, and so on. So that's where all the focus is. Um, if you're actually trying to innovate in Ireland, it's like not really, not really interested. Um, the city council really, I mean, they, they're aware of this. Um, they, they, they know about it. Um, but there is, there is little to no engagement on it. Um, OK, so um, what I wanted to do was, but that, that's an interesting uh, thought. Yeah, people have mentioned the, the, the idea of, um, of a flood, flooding model. And certainly, um, I'm very um, interested in um, you know that idea because it's useful for people. Um, sorry, I'm looking for. Well, the, just to finish on it, the, I know the, the engineer who could talk to the engineer if you wanted to. Sure, if yeah, if if, if, if they want to get in touch with me, they can. I I generally just don't. I don't go after um, the city council. They can. They can come uh, and talk to me. Uh, um, sorry. Yes. Is the I'm assuming the idea is to annotate the map with with pen or pencil or something on the actual page. P exactly colors. It just looks to me like really dense to pick out like specific points in the city centre. It's very. Yeah. Out sure. Out. Sure. Um, yeah. I mean, um, now on the screen, I think it's it's gen now we can lighten we can lighten and darken the 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 lines yeah. and that would be something that would be kind of tweaked but you're dead right like um, fitting in a description on, onto the map oh yeah well i mean you know you like you'd be good to see where the pen line stops you know like, a, like what's that it's just so dense and dark in the center that's just the one thing like sure out. yeah yeah and and as i said like the lines can be lightened or darkened as yeah. we as we want to uh, tweak them but yeah, and the print the printed map is the it will really kind of uh, reveal. And I was hoping to obviously, as I said, um, give out three more minutes. Okay. Um, so what what I wanted to do was just um, show the the actual. Um, <coughs> um, And I'll just open up any particular one. Um, and SketchUp, um, I, I've been teaching SketchUp um, for years. And um, again, it's, it's mainly people not in my field that are, are, are more interested really in, um, in kind of training. Um, Okay, so I will uh, just put this thing out. But SketchUp is um, SketchUp is free software. I'm um, showing you free software here. If I turn on um, the color in this, so that's the actual model and. Um, this is the space that you kind of like mess with it. Um, and as I said, that's, that software is freely available. It's available to Ireland is the only uh, country outside of the United States that has full, uh, that the, the secondary schools have full access to the pr professional version of SketchUp for free. Um, the schools haven't taken it up really. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know why, but um, it's extremely powerful software. The other point as well is, I suppose the last point, is that um, we have a, a, a 3D print file of, of the city, which we will also be um, advertising and selling on the, 
on the website, so that will be up uh, very shortly. Um, the price range, does anybody, like if, if, I, if I was to, if you were to uh, think of a model of the city, this model of the city around um, four inches, sorry, 100 millimeters, what's that? In di uh, four inches in diameter. Um, um, how much would you pay for that? Does it have a magnet? We we can put we can put it in a magnet. That's one that's no problem. One can you put it in one of those snow cones. What one? Cargan went there. Yeah. Exactly. What? How much? One ninety nine. One euro ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seventy five euro. Because it's because of the the cost of of printing, uh, and we have to kind of make a bit of a profit as well. And three D printing is. It's, it's not the same as manufacturing. People think in terms of the, the cost base of manufacturing. So um, it's, it's 75 euro, but you can have a very nice model of Cork City. Anyway, so thanks very much. I think if you promoted that with businesses, they'd be very keen on it, you know, because I, I could go to your website and I could look inside a restaurant or something like that. Sure, yeah. I went there, you know. Sure, it's, it's one of the products, actually, that we're, we're selling mm -hmm. um, is, is video. Like that, yeah. Um, actually, O'Callaghan's TV uh, commissioned uh, one of those videos, so um, I went to the TV shops because uh, they can play the video on front of their oh, thing, yeah. so. That's, so you, that's the you, idea there. How did you generate the model? The model? Uh, did you measure stuff yourself? Or? Oh, um, uh, that's, uh, that's a, a secret. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a mixture of different things. It's uh, Google Maps, uh, Street View, and um, Ireland Survey kind of information. And skullduggery. Uh, have you done the insides of many of the buildings? Um, ju just the web workhouse, the Firk and Crane, the roundy building up near Shandon, yeah. uh, and the uh, Camden Palace Hotel. Sorry, yeah. Um, are there any resources or people or classes around to make that for SketchUp and 3D printing in Cork? Uh, me. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, public training is extremely hard to run in in Ireland. Um, again, the government is is a bit of a problem. They've they kind of have a monopoly on training in, in, in Ireland and they, had, they spend taxpayers' money to advertise their, their colleges and their training and they kind of, anyone who's not in their, um, air, their I don't know, back pockets yes. does get, kind of gets shoved to the side. So it's, it's, a, it's a real problem, you know. I do one-to-one -one training, I do, I do um, corporate training and, and so on. Thank you. Sorry, yeah, is if, if you uh, make up a course in this under the aegis of the Irish Institute for Training and Development, they, they, might, uh, they might recognize it as a module then that can be trained on. It. Yeah, well, uh, I kind of take the attitude now, if, 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 if an organization wants to do it, they can talk to me, but I'm just, I'm, t I'm finished with actually trying to talk to organizations. Can you take one more question there? Yeah. I have two questions. Uh, Just one, actually. How long does it take you uh, to generate model from data? How long did it take to make the Cork City model? Is it? Um, or well, if you have a data for a building, the interior of the building, and how long does it take you to generate the model? It just depends on the size of the building and what level of detail you need to go into. It's there's a huge number of variables in it. Just an example, you have. It, it like in the the, the web workhouse. Yeah. Um, okay, so there was a survey and modelling, so you're talking about, like, it's about two weeks work in it. How big is the data? What? How big is the data? Uh, I think it's, with, with all the images and everything, it's about 46 megs. Right. So it's, it's not bad, really. Okay. But three, with 3D scanning, we did a 3D scan of UCC. I think it's still, it's, it's still too large for transfer. Uh, you just optimize it. It depends on what you want to do. It's all about what you want to do, the outputs. So you can talk to me, you, know, you can email info at uh, corkcity.com.